Okay, so starting back in our folder where we're keeping our calculus notebooks, let's create a new Python uh, notebook. Let's name it Intro to Sequences, or whatever you want to name it. And we'll begin it again by first declaring matplotlib uh, notebook to keep our graphs within the notebook, and then we'll import the plotting and NumPy library. So import matplotlib.pyplot and abbreviate it as plt and import numpy as np. Shift enter and um, make a markdown cell and I'll call this introduction to sequences. All right, so I want to look at, we want to look at creating sequences, much like we were have this list of four integers that we looked at last time. It, you see, if we wanted to create a list of 20 integers, it's a little bit painstaking to manually enter every single integer. Uh, further, if we are creating these lists based on some sort of computation, it's going to be even more intense to perform those computations on each one and then append that to the, the list. So our approach is going to involve um, two important functions. First is the append function. So append just sticks another element onto the end of a, a list. So for example, the, this list, the next element uh, in this in the sequence we would think would be maybe five. So I can do that. I can add a five on this by a dot append uh, in parentheses five. And now if I look at a, you see that last element uh, is a five. Uh, I can continue to do this um, and add however many I would like. So besides the append, the, we're going to use append within a loop. We want to continue to do this. We want to tack uh, numbers on subsequently for uh, a whole bunch of times and maybe even involve some operations in it. So we're going to use a for loop there. Let's just look at a for loop to begin. And the for i in range uh, 10, close parentheses, colon, print parentheses, i. And what we see is looping through a sequence of values that, in fact, are identical to indices of a list starting at 0. Um, so this is 10 numbers starting at 0. Uh, and all we've done is print out those 10 numbers. The way that we'll use the for loop together with uh, the append operation to create sequences is to create, so for example, a, we can consider a as starting with 1 and subsequently adding 1 each successive term. So I rename a as just a single list starting with 1, and now I can create a for loop for i in range, and let's say I want the first 20 integers then I will say that next equals that previous term, which is a of i, plus 1. And then I will append that previous term plus 1 uh, onto that sequence a. And then this will continue to do it. After it added 1 to the first term, then it will add 1 to the second term to make the third term, add 1 to the third term to make the fourth term, and so on. And we can see now that we have the list of these 20 terms. The other things that we can do is to create these with uh, different operations. So if I start uh, with 1, and maybe instead of addition, I want to use multiplication. So for i in range 19, let's say that next will equal that previous term, b of i, times 2 and we'll append that we see we get a different kind of list and similarly maybe I want to um, create a list of values that change by a changing value so for i in range 19 let's say that next equals c that previous term uh, plus i and c dot append next and we see we got a different sequence and we can plot all of these together on the same plot let's create a figure plt dot figure 
um, one of the things we can do is make this bigger fig size equals and in parentheses I'll say 10 by 7 plt dot plot a and let's make that a dashed line with markers plt dot plot b same thing dash dash o lowercase o plt dot plot c uh, again dash dash lowercase o shift enter and as you can see one of our sequences uh, grew much faster than the other two um, and so if, you know back here it looks like they uh, they're more in line with each other so if we want to look at just the first 10 terms of these sequences we can also limit uh, these graphs to just include the first 10 terms by slicing the uh, sequences as we've seen before and let's see what this looks like now yeah we can see them a little bit better here uh, as three different plots